morning ISP, this is here and today I bring you a new video regarding our Blazing Solvo Mines which was a skill release in the uh, past league which I hadn't had the opportunity to test it but now I'm doing in this league start and it's been a blast seriously it's plenty of damage I would say it's almost similar or even better than the Ball Lightning uh, considering the, the previous version before its nerf so it's really really strong all you have to do basically uh, considering that you have trigger on your weapon you can uh, spam your mines uh, on top of the flame wall and then detonate all of them because this will do insane amount of damage we've done uh, plenty of uber series cortex shaper uh, on these first three days of the league uh, and i hadn't had any problems at all uh, also cyrus 8 obviously uh, with plenty of damage as you will see uh, at the end of this video so all we did here was uh, use our basically regular template of our mine which uh, uses the mandatory items chevrons prince of chayula and prismic guardian the rest of the items basically are uh, resist with some energy shield as you can see on the rings also the helmet could be it but the marty's crown cost me two chaos and i have over 250 energy shield and also pain attunement node uh, which makes us uh, gain the benefit from the from being low life and gaining the 30 percent more spell damage at the bell is also one chaos uh, baited breath plenty of energy shield as well scene track uh, is awesome because it gives us some decks uh, not to mention the nice energy shield you should aim for at least 150 uh, energy shield if you're getting a rare boots uh, on your gloves preferably a uh, 100 plus energy shield but aims for the increased damage with hits against shield enemies which is awesome and for the weapon uh, i've got a plus one fire or plus one spell with some increased spell damage increased critical strike for spells some added fire damage to spells but not really necessary uh, what is necessary here is that you have an open suffix so at maximum two suffixes so you can craft a trigger a socketed spell and use a skill which will basically uh, make this cast automatically the flame ability which is our curse reducing fire enemies uh, enemies fire resistance by play, uh, 45 percent at level 21 wave of conviction as well to apply fire exposure reducing even further the enemy's fire resist and also the flame wall which will increase our um, the damage from our blazing salvo mines so pretty regular uh, miner over here using the blazing salvo ascendancy as you can see on the pob on the node section you have plenty of information regarding your items um, the life base starter you can also see on the POB it was on my starter video and I'm sorry if, uh, because I didn't make an English version for the starters video uh, so very sorry for that but you have the POB with all the information that you need on the notes section as well and after you you gain after you get your mandatory items which are chevrons presence of Chayula Prism Guardian uh, and all the energy shield items uh, and plenty of regrets when you're level uh, around 85 you have plenty of passive nodes already so you can switch to the low life version which is this one and gain lots and lots of damage so you can see that we are, we are sitting at uh, almost 200 uh, k total damage with our mines which is amazing honestly if you find yourself uh, with a reflected map the reflected elemental damage you should remove wave of conviction because it will cast uh, sometimes and it can kill you depending of the amount of mobs especially on uber Ziri or at Ziri as well it's a little bit of annoying when you find the at Ziri holding the mirror but only uh, all i have to do is to remove the wave of conviction so you're good to go on the porcupine is use a pyre ring make sure to have one on your inventory to use it when necessary Flesh and stone always have it on sandstone so you can blind the enemies and then we are using the demo demolition specialist uh, this time instead of the burning the shadows uh, so we can benefit from the actual buff on this patch uh, regarding the increased effect of auras on our skills um, b 
before you have trigger, you can use a cast on damage taken setup with web of conviction and a three link with storm brand hex touch and infinity, so you don't actually lose lots of damage. But once you get the trigger, you will notice a massive amount, uh, a massive gain on your quality of life when playing this build. All right, so all the information, all the user information is on the POB notes section. Feel free to get there and then take a look. When you're fighting the bosses, all you'll have to do is to place all of your mines and then remember to use flame there so you can gain the arcane surge buff. And then aim the mines on top of the flame wall so then uh, so that all the, the blazing salvo will gain lots and lots of damage, all right? Remember to pop up your Vol RF, RF as well so you can get uh, lots of more spell damage. Do not use the RF or the rise you'll probably die in the map. You have to use the Vol RF and then uh, when you are in some dangerous situations you can use the Vol Discipline because it will make your energy recover while you take some damage. So it's very very nice uh, defensively speaking. A minor is really, uh, really, uh, it really, really depends on the damage to survive. So it doesn't really have any defensive layers, probably only the blind defensive layer. Uh, but seriously, the damage that we do is enough to make us live uh, through the end game. All you have to do is to know the enemy and then position yourself. So if you have any further questions, don't hesitate and go to uh, my Twitch and then ask it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time. <laughs>